Alright, I guess it's time for another video, and I was going to do that box of a clutch, but instead we're going to look at, I guess, this box. So, I've already played around with these guys a bit. So we have some very nice little captive-born water monitors. It's not going to have any part of going back in the box. Well, how about let's take a look. Here's a clutch. So these guys take six months to hatch. This light is really weird. It's a. It's not the right light for this, but I just needed some something. But about six months to hatch. You can see this little guy right here. And uh, water monitors are definitely, the eggs are uh, very persnickety. And uh, it's not an easy task to always, always hatch these. I certainly, um, I have a fair bit of experience hatching them, but I definitely have made more than my share of mistakes. So what do you think, little man? The world's your oyster. So when these guys come out, they're generally <laughs> neurotic and biting and a little bit crazy. That's, all right, I think we're gonna do, I'm not prepared for this, wow. Hold on. All right, guys. You guys are killing me. Hmm. Hold on. When things go wrong. <laughs> uh, that was not the plan. So this clutch is already doing its thing. I don't know if it's even worth deleting all of this video. Hi, buddy. So they just want out. So um, one thing I can tell you that's interesting about hatching water monitors, water monitors and, and monitors in general and many lizards and turtles, the activity of one hatching initiates um, hatching a lot of times in other, other animals. So when I was looking at these guys yesterday, I, t I basically don't even look at the eggs so much as I open up the box and I put my hand on the eggs and I just touch the eggs and I can you know, try to gauge what's going on. But you, when, when it's time to hatch these, you need to be aware of what's going on. And it's really interesting out of 11 eggs, these guys, yesterday they weren't doing anything and today I already have nine of them out. So, I guess as a breeder, this is what it's all about. Breeding water monitors is uh, very rewarding. Just having water monitors is very rewarding. Um, the social graces that they have and the intelligence and uh, what you develop as far as relationship with them. I mean, we really, you know, I liken this to, you know, domesticating, you know, dogs or cats or whatever. Hey, buddy. So, like I said, I've already played with these guys for a while. So I'm already working on getting them over being crazy. You don't look so crazy. You look very intelligent taking it all in. All right, that is it. Okay. Baby urban di dinosaurs on their birthday. Say goodbye.